A new Miss Universe Thailand has been crowned, and many pageant fans are saying that she's the one to beat at the 2019 Miss Universe competition. Are they right? Let's find out. Pawin Suda Druin, also known by her Thai nickname Fasai, has been crowned Miss Universe Thailand 2019 on June 29th. She will now represent Thailand in the next edition of Miss Universe, whose date and venue have not yet been confirmed. Pawin Suda was born and raised in Canada, but moved to Thailand to pursue a modeling and DJ career. She is a pageant veteran, having competed in Miss Thailand 2013, where she placed first runner-up, and at Miss Universe Thailand 2017, where she placed second runner-up. She was also appointed to represent Thailand in Miss Earth 2017, where she made the top eight. I have to say I love the opening number featuring dancers in futuristic shiny costume dancing to Lady Gaga's 2011 hit, Born This Way. I think the choice of music is a subtle way of paying tribute to Pride Month. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Miss Universe Thailand 2000. The show was co-hosted by Charm Osatanond, Miss Thailand Universe 2006, and Thai TV personality and DJ PK, which is short for Piawat Kempech. I didn't like the all-women judging panel, which is blatantly sexist. I understand that the Miss Universe organization is all about empowering women, but I find it totally sexist and arrogant to assume that only women can empower other women. Whatever happened to gender equality, MUO? Just stop it with your virtue signaling, okay? Just stop it! I liked the overall production because it was modern, upbeat, fast-paced, and clean. However, except for the fact that the show was in Thai language, there were hardly any references to Thai culture, which I found rather odd. Anyway, here are some of the elements from the show that I liked. This year's show was produced by the TPN Group, the same company that produced Miss Universe 2018. The format for the swimsuit competition at Miss Universe Thailand this year is somewhat similar to the format used at Miss Universe 2018. It's nice to see Patraporn Wang, the controversial Miss Intercontinental 2014 winner, compete in Machine Universe Thailand and making it all the way to top five. The impact of social media is apparent in the pre-taped segment when the delegates were asked how they would react to certain situations by referring to emoticons. I love the evening gown competition when the girls sashay down the long runway wearing luxurious elegant gowns by Thai designers. I especially love the gowns worn by these following contestants. Do 
Do you think that Bowen Suda's evening gown walk is similar to the evening gown walk of Catriona Gray at Miss Universe?ตลอดระยะเวลาที่ดิฉันได้ดำรงตำแหน่งมิสยูเนอร์สไทยแลนด์ทำให้ดิฉันได้พิสูจน์การก้าวผ่านความกลัวและทำในสิ่งที่ตั
and find your purpose in it. Why are you doing this? And I know that you will raise the Thailand flag high. Mm, 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 cat, 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 you always seem to say the right things, girl. My Do I think Poin Suda could win Miss Universe 2019? You bet! Her international pageant experience, her great communication skills, her amazing confidence and beauty, and her strong universal appeal can easily put her at the top. Why, even former Miss Universe Natalie Globova thinks so too, but only if she gets to train Poin Suda. In her Instagram account, Natalie wrote, Of course, I think she can win, but I have to give her some of my winning principles. First, listen up. MUT organization. If you want a third Miss Universe, let me train Poin Suda and we will bring that crown back to Thailand this year. Natalie may sound overly confident in a bragging sort of way, but hey, she has the goods to back it up. Now let's see if the Miss Universe Thailand organization will leave Poin Suda to Natalie's hands. And there you have it, the new Miss Universe Thailand, Bowen Suda Druin. If she wins Miss Universe 2019, she will be the third title holder from Thailand to win the coveted crown. Apasada Hong Sakula first won it in 1965, and then 23 years later, in 1988, Pointit Nakirunganok became the second Thai winner. But that was 31 years ago. I think it's time for Thailand to get its third crown. Don't you think so? <coughs> Thanks for watching guys! If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and comment below. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe to get notified for the next video. Until then, bye!